Forrester. The St. Pat's fans want a free kick. They're not going to get one. Cawley clears. Mike Fall here for Levy. He's encouraged to shoot. Levy. It wasn't far away. Yeah, that was a lovely strike from Levy. As soon as he gets that onto his left foot, we all knew the strike was coming. None of the Sligo defenders are coming out to get in his face. You see here, as soon as that ball comes across his body, he's one thought in his mind, Levy. Gets it onto that left foot. His ninth start of the season for Good ball to Barlow. Barlow. Down the line. That's a good run by Hartman. Hartman. He's in here. Hartman turning, twisting and shooting a good save. And then Redmond on the rebound tidies up. Well, he could have pulled it back because in the box, in a good position was Fitzgerald, but Hartman went for it himself. It was on target, but it was a good stop by Linus, who made some fine saves on Friday night. It's a he lovely little bit of play there with the ball down the side for Hartman. is lovely. And people will criticise John talking about Sligo coming playing a low block. Wendy Hart O'Sullivan keeps it in play. Here's the cross. Barlow meets it, and Linus has to make a decent save. It was a good header by Barlow, and a decent save by Linus. Yeah, there's another little wake-up call for St. Pats. Pats are having all the possession. They're probing from side to side, but when it's coming down to chances, it's Sligo have had the best two so far. Another little wake-up call. I'm not sure if Linus saves that or it hits the crossbar. Maybe a combination of both. I think Linus, yeah, just yeah, he got his hand to it. Yet. Redmond. Redmond. Curtis. Curtis with a deep, deep cross. Carty attacks it, but doesn't get enough on the header. However, he has won a corner kick. Good save in the end by Richard Brush. Yeah, I do think that's a tactic for St. Pats now. Obviously, they want to play between the lines. They want to get behind Sligo. But if that low block is not going to come out and engage, then put early balls into the box, and eventually they're going to have to come out and engage. If not, you just keep putting balls into the box, dangerous balls. Who poked it into the path of his teammate, who tries to send it down for Carty. Who's this going to break you? Pinecker. Good, clever and calm defending. Pinecker has it again. Gives to Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald, great feet by Fitzgerald. And just as I say that, he gives it away. Carty with the knee turn. Mahan trying to get to Carty. Carty gets the shot away. And the keeper gets something on it. Brush saves his team there. Great turn by Carty. Yeah, but he, sorry, Yoshin. It, it was brilliant from Connor Carty because he realizes straight away where the danger is. Where can he go and hurt Sligo? And it's in behind. His fourth touch brings him straight in behind. It's John Mahan who's recovering in centre half. Puts Forrester. Levy, Levy's cross, oh it's a good one as well and it just got away from Doyle, I think Matten put him off. Yeah, and that for me is what Pats need to do a lot more of, once or twice Mark Doyle, the ball's on the left wing, he comes inside, he recycles it, that's no problem, it comes out to the right wing, this time Levy decides I'm going to put it in and he puts it in with real quality. Sullivan. Oh, Sullivan's cross, away by Breslin, here's Levy, Levy does really well. Levy does really well indeed. Carty's outside, joining the attack is McClelland. McClelland's in, McClelland. Good save by Brush. And Buckley gets it away. Well, that's the first time Sligo have really committed numbers to the attack and all of a sudden St. Pat's recognise that and they go straight for the jugular. McClelland does really, really well. Here you see from one box straight into the other. Levy does really well, comes away from two tackles, stays on his feet here, John Mann trying to take him down. David Colley knows he can't touch him, he's the wrong side. Curtis, Curtis is cross. Sligo Rovers and Shamrock Rovers, who officially owns the title. Here's Curtis, both of them in my opinion. Oh, it's away but only as far as well, I was going to say Levy but someone got a boot in there. Here's Lennon for Curtis. Back outside to Levy, Levy, Levy takes a deflection and in it goes and Keir Levy gets his first goal for St. Pat's, it's a big one, it could be the one that guarantees European football next season, St. Pat's won, Sligo Rovers nil. Well, I was about to say, what a strike. He got a bit of luck, but he deserved it. Here it is. Yeah, there is a slight deflection on the ocean, but it's a great strike. Take nothing away from the hit. You see here, he's just hanging out the edge of the box. 
Pat's just trying to walk it down the wing. He walk it into Levy here. He's forced touches. Brilliant. Kills the Sligo midfielder trying to press him. Gets a little hit. Gets the hit off. It's a slight deflection off. Carly, I think it is. Just sends a forwarder into that top corner. Richard Brush can do nothing in the Sligo goal. There, that force touch there from Keane Levy. He's absolutely excellent. Well, what a weekend for our D in County Louth. Burst off the mark to make that block, Mark Doyle. Here's Buckley. Squares it for Pinecker. 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 It's always rising. Yeah, I think we said that in the first half about Norman stepping in. The Pat sent the half and having a strike from 30, 35 yards. The opposition would be happy enough. I think Pats would be happy enough as well with Pinecker taking the strikes on them. Morahan. Decent ball out by Morahan. Wants it back. Not sure he'll get it back though. Here comes the cross. It's dipping. Norman allows it to bounce into the path of the goalkeeper. It's not a bad run. He's only the one target in the box. It's a decent ball in. We're getting into that time now, Wushin, where Sligo are going to start throwing the kids in sync. Lonergan trying to get away. He's got Forrester in support. Lonergan still going. Turning, twisting, and losing. Might try and get it back here. Mahan puts in a meaty challenge. It's a Nolan can't hit them. Here we go. Just off target from Alex Nolan. Well, maybe more than just, but the idea was good. Would have been his first for the club. He would have joined Keane Levy in scoring his first for the club had that one gone in. Barlow's there, he's waiting for it. It will go into the box, it's headed on by Pinecker, but well wide of the target. And that's it, St. Patrick's Athletic have secured European football next season. Their ambitions are something greater. They want to end the year with silverware, whether that's the cup or the league. Both, of course, still possible. The cup, far more possible than the league, but they're still in the race. St. Pat's won, Sligo Rovers nil. Keith, what did you make of it? Yeah, I thought it was a very entertaining, uh, entertaining game, Mushin. I thought the, the way... Almost it from us as the St. Pat's fans just quell their chance of Keno, which they were shouting over the last couple of minutes, um, acknowledging his first goal for, for the club in an important win. The final score, St. Pat's 1, Sligo Rovers nil. We'll catch you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.